This is a podcast of 98FM's Dublin Talks. Remember, catch the show live Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. Now, next on the programme, this is something we mentioned on the show yesterday. And uh, we spoke about how residents around um, the Portobello area are fed up with the filth left behind uh, after the sunny weekend. Um, A Dublin City Councillor uh, from the Labour Party, Mary Freehill, has basically said uh, that there needs to be a crackdown on drinking uh, along the canal on sunny days. Now, don't know about you, I've done it myself. Um, Enjoyed it. Didn't leave a load of rubbish behind me when I left. Uh, but many do. And uh, Councillor Friel joins me on the line. Mary, welcome to 98FM. Good morning, Adrian. Mary, uh, this is a big problem and it didn't just happen this weekend. I remember even, d- uh, even discussing it on, on the television a couple of weeks ago. It happened two weekends before that. And it is disgusting, the mess that's being left behind by filthy animals I have to say it's been it's been built up over the last year it started off with people uh, uh, having a drink outside say some of the pubs along the canal and then people then got the idea well why do why shouldn't I take my takeaway with me which you know seems kind of reasonable but it's got to the point now that it is very um, um, that it's very serious um, and um, that, that there's the numbers are so huge um, that um, uh, uh, people are in touch with me regularly about the amount of defecating, uh, the amount of urinating. Uh, people are even bringing their, you know, their, their own uh, uh, toilet paper with them. And in various cul-de-sacs, this is what's happening. And people are left in this kind of weather; they can't even open their windows. Uh, the city council have put out some bins, which is certainly not enough. Legally, it's it, it is illegal to consume alcohol uh, in the open. Mm. Um, but and it I'm seems afraid- to be something uh, that originally um, was tolerated, for want of a better word, outside places like the barge and people congregating yep. around the locks and well, whatever. maybe. But volume, volume has become a huge issue now. Uh, and it's the amount of, you know, if you just saw the numbers of um, uh, whiskey bottles and uh, gin bottles, you'd realise the, the amount of very serious uh, drinking. Uh, I've had motorists in contact with to say that, you know, people have been on the footpath where they have uh, uh, kind of fallen against their car when they stopped at the lights. Mm. You know, that's very that's very dangerous. And the most dangerous aspect of all of this is that people are drinking around an area where there are both at Charlemont Bridge and Fortebello Bridge, where there's very, very deep water. Um, and, you know, the c- a combination of you know, uh, being beside very deep water and consuming alcohol is very, very dangerous. Um, and, you know, some people, I'm sure, think, oh, she's a bit of a, a killjoy. That's what I was, about, I was about to say. And in fact, I, I, I'm yeah. reading a and quote for you from you saying, I'm not a killjoy, but... I can understand. I can understand people saying that. But I think, you know, we have to think in life also about our responsibilities as well as our rights. And there are responsibilities here uh, for the safety of people. And this is not a safe environment for people to consume alcohol. In any event, it's illegal to consume alcohol in the, uh, in the open anyway. Um, so I'm afraid as a city council and the Gardaí, we're going to have to deal with this because it is just very difficult for everybody around the place but it's also potentially dangerous. In fact, I'm looking at one uh, newspaper article, uh, photographs of uh, guys jumping into uh, the canal from uh, on top of one of the locks and whatever. Now, okay. I, don't, I don't know if that person was drunk. He did somersaults and whatever. Now, this would be nothing uh, unusual, but um, y- y- you think that, and it's sad that it happens here in Ireland again, uh, that we just can't respect our surroundings so therefore something needs to be done well i suppose it's it's that and uh, that we can't enjoy ourselves without consuming alcohol um but you know there's probably still be the litter and there's still be you know all of that so you know that's where we have to kind of bring some kind of order to the thing um before something tragic happens how is it in most other european countries or cities they're able to do exactly what was being done, having a few drinks down along the canal. Uh, I've done it myself in, in Copenhagen. I've done it myself yeah. in, in Zurich. Uh, had a few drinks, sitting down by the river. Uh, lovely day. And then as soon as everybody leaves, they take their rubbish with them. 
It's just that's bizarre. Right. I don't understand but how see, we think, have such an yeah, issue with it here. That's right. Well, we're just not very good at doing that. But the second thing is that it's the toileting. Uh, but it's also the volume. You see, the volume is the issue. You know, we've all seen people sit down. I've seen people sitting along the same in Paris, you know, uh, chatting and whether they were consuming alcohol or not, I don't know. Um, but, you know, and it's nice to be able to enjoy um, the canal. I live along the canal myself. But the difference is it's become a party. And the the the, the 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 conditions for having a party are not right. So if well, it's a big if, obviously, with the weather we get here, if we have another uh, warm couple of days like that over a weekend, over the next couple of weeks, uh, you want to see a crackdown by the Gardaí uh, swamping the place and getting rid of anybody who's drinking in public. I'm afraid we'll have to move because it's the it's you know having so many people together, um, um, it's the volume is the problem and the dangers that that can bring and the difficulties for local people. Okay, so and like I said, I'm I'm embarrassed when I look at the amount of litter that was left behind. Mm. It really is embarrassing that we're That's that right. filthy. It really it's it just doesn't happen anywhere else. But anyway, um, because is it not down to the city council to provide more bins and more um, porta loos and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but wait, no, that's just one part of it. But I mean, the the other the other part of this is the volume and the the conditions not being um, uh, appropriate. You know, that's there. That's the bottom line, really. You know, it's the huge volume of people mm. uh, around very deep water consuming a lot of alcohol, and it's time that that stopped. Well, I would like to see it stop before an accident happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, I find it very embarrassing that we, as uh, I know it is against the law to drink in public. I've often wondered whether uh, it should be, but it is. Um, because I've seen in other countries how they can behave themselves drinking in public, how they can sit by deep rivers and not risk death uh, un- and and then take their, their rubbish home with them. Uh, it okay. is quite embarrassing to see uh, this sort of thing. So yeah, uh, yeah. on the next bank holiday or the next lovely weekend that we have, fingers crossed, uh, what would you like to see specifically being done down around that area of Portobello, around the canal? Well, I think the Gardaí have to tell people that it's not on. I also have been asking the City Council to put up signs to say that, you know, littering and um, uh, consuming alcohol in the open is, is illegal. Uh, so that people are very clear and know what the law allows. And uh, and remind them, although they don't seem to care, to be quite honest, they don't seem to care that it is against the law to to drink. Um, well, sadly and unfortunately, I mean that's probably why we have Gardaí. You know, if people don't comply with the law, then the Gardaí have to take over. Okay, so a clamp down so, uh, you know. the next time we have weather like that, when we have a congregation of people. Yeah, and as I said again, it's the volume that is the big issue, um, and and the danger. Should that clamp down, Mary, because it has become a thing over the last couple of years, should that clamp down uh, apply to the people gathering directly outside, for example, the barge? Well, you see, it's hand for one without the other, I suppose. And uh, it means that, you know, it's probably destroying it for them as well. But that's probably where it all started. That is where it all started, yeah, uh, right. without a doubt. Yes. And it's just kind of uh, spread from there. And they themselves, the barge, the staff and the barge were also very good about cleaning up because they didn't want to bring this trouble on themselves. Yes, and I know um, I know when they're ser- serving uh, beer, they serve it in plastic cups and everything else, so it's, there's right. no glass yeah. around really, the place. That's right, that's right, yes. Um, so it's um, um, so it's quite... Uh, they, they set themselves up quite well for us, but as I said, now the volume uh, is the volume is beyond what the area can cope with. All right, you know, well, and that's exactly the same as if you were running an event someplace. There's health and safety conditions and and rules. All right, well, as I said, you know, we'll, if you were in a we'll, tent or something like that, you'd have the same kind of things, but you know, you'd have to comply with. So that's really where it's at. All right, we'll watch with interest over the next couple of weeks if we have <laughs> okay. more more nice weather. Councillor Mary Freel, thank you very much thank indeed you. for joining Good. us on 98FM. 98 98FM. 98 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. Weekdays from 10am on 98FM.